Well, hello, YouTubers. All right, so today is the fall foliage edition of 68 Outdoors. <laughs> no, really, today is about Crockett 20. He's doing a contest for ribs gear. Um, so everybody go check that out. I'll put a link in. And if you don't know who Crockett 20 is and you've ever been watching any of my videos, he is a top-notch YouTuber and is uh, certainly should be seen by everybody. So anyways, so that's going to be about that. I'm just showing you this view. I just came up there. Uh, came up that side. Um, it is beautiful up here. I am in New Hampshire. Um, and it is fall foliage season. So, uh, that's how I got up here. Um, and that's actually the direction I'll be going when I'm done with this. But, and that kind of brings to one point of the ribs gear. Um, is possibly being able to use it on my bike. Now, I, I'm not sure about that. Uh, and it's one of the reasons I'm interested in getting one is to see if it would work. Um, when you're riding and you stop and you want to take off your backpack and you want to do all those things for me what happens most of the time of year is you've got a helmet on and to get into your backpack if you leave your helmet on by the time you get in you're sweating all over your face and me i wear glasses which means my glasses just fogged up and if i got my goggles on my goggles just fogged up so if you want something simple and fast uh it really really is a pain so but i'm, I'm not sure if it'll work on a bike sometimes when you fall you take hits to the stomach and uh I don't know, I just have to see how it fits me. I'm also a pretty small guy, so it might fit pretty big. But, more to the point, um, the everyday reason why I would want a ribs is kind of this stuff right here. Um, maybe not so much the field knife, but uh, it's something I've never been able to get to work out on my regular backpack, and I don't want to carry it on my side. Um, so, I don't know. It is what it is. But anyways, so for the ribs pack. So this is stuff that I pretty readily get. Now that, that bag on the left side is not a first aid kit. So I guess what I would consider my survival kit. Um, it's my backup of all backups. I mean it's got water containers, water tablets, um, a small amount of first aid stuff. Nothing, nothing real big on that though. Um, towel, safety blanket, about three, four ways to make fire. Um, bug spray, just a ton of little stuff that I always carry everywhere I go if I'm backpacking or if I'm out riding on the bike. Um, if things were to go bad, just with that small kit, I could make it easily overnight. There is some uh, packets of, uh, oh, the little caffeinated packets and stuff like that. They actually had probably enough food and power bar packets and Gatorade dust to make it through the night. But I always carry it. Um, and then Pelican case, the, the tripod for this camera, a monocular, uh, my small first aid kit, my Android, which I take a lot of pictures of, and then my Baco Laplander, which even ride the motorcycle I use a lot to clear branches, um, or when I'm hiking I do it. So anyways, this is what I carry just about everywhere I go, just about anything I do, maybe minus a field knife, but if I'm not backpacking or hike, day hiking or anything. So this is really the type of thing that I would have in that front pouch that, that I would like to have accessible. You know, the the little uh, kit on the left there. I, if I was at, if I was in camp gathering wood and I walked off, you know, to do anything at night and that, that you know, odd possibility of getting lost in camp, I mean, it happens to people. I'd like to think it wouldn't happen to me. I mean, there's a compass in there. There's a million things to get back, but not having it which is too big to fit in a cargo pocket and I'm not much of a fanny pack kind of a guy but uh so it's some one of those things I'd like to have on me all the time I think the ribs gear I think that's kind of where it comes in the most is it's something you can have on you and always have the stuff you need in it um so this is just kind of the basics where I'd start and then you know you throw in a little bit of food the camera that I've got in my hand the other still camera would carry with us um yeah, I think it's an excellent product. Um, I'm definitely interested in it. If they're still on sale come Friday, I'll probably buy one minus the contest. But, And this is as much as anybody to, to show anybody else that the contest is going on and to check out Crockett. And, and it's a, it's an excellent ordeal to where if you don't have a camera, you can just leave a message, which I think is awesome for them to do. Um, and you can still get in the contest. There's four prizes, and two of them are for pe people that only put in a message. So, um, so yeah, there's that. Um, yeah, and uh, just thanks Crockett for the contest. I think it's awesome. Um, and, you know, the excellent videos you put out. So there you go. There's my uh, contest into the entry, or entry into the contest. So there you go. Um, that's that. Get out and uh, enjoy stuff like this. 
Anyways, all right, you guys. Have a good day. Go check out Crockett. Get outdoors. Make your own food. Can't talk today. And uh, if you have the opportunity, go ride.